All right. Uh, good evening, everyone. Today, I have the pleasure of having Dr. Shahan Iqbal. He has secured the numero uno rank, that is rank one as far as uh, uh, INSS November 2025 was concerned in DM Pediatric Oncology. He's a graduate from uh, GMC uh, Srinagar and uh, then he did his MD in Pediatrics from SKMS uh, uh, in again from uh, Jammu and Kashmir, and uh, 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 he has uh, he was working there as a senior resident right now. So, Dr. Shahan, how are you feeling right now? What is the feeling after getting this rank one as far as pediatric pulmonary so is I concerned? Am... How are you feeling, sir? I am overwhelmed. Uh, obviously, sir, this this was not expected. I was thinking that inshallah, hopefully, I will crack the exam. But getting a rank one is obviously a dream, and alhamdulillah, I have done this. So again, congratulations to you again, definitely. So can you tell us a little bit about your journey, like uh, where you did your residency from and uh, what stage of preparation you were in right now? And then we'll take forward from there about how did you prepare and everything. Actually, sir, I have done my MD pediatrics from Skim Sora. Uh, this is in Srinagar, sir. Uh, I joined this uh, MD pediatrics in 2020, sir. Actually, I am uh, MBBS batch. My MBBS batch was 2013, sir. After doing my C, uh, this post graduation, uh, I joined the same institute for senior residency. Presently, I am working as senior resident in this institute, and yeah, that's all, sir. That's all. So, when did you actually start preparing for this INISS or NEETSS for that matter? When did the actual serious preparation start, in your opinion? Sir, actually, uh, during my PG days, I, uh, I studied uh, very thoroughly. Uh, I I have done complete uh, Nelson. I have read in uh, my PG days only. Beside Nelson, I was very thorough with the uh, clinics as well. So I have attended each and every uh, clinical posting. Uh, we here in SCIMS have different departments like pulmonology, like oncology. So we get exposed to those patients as well, sir. So I, I stick to my uh, basic Nelson and then I continued with my clinical learning. That was all in uh, uh, PG. I was sir, very confident and very sure that I I have to go to go for higher studies, especially DM uh, someday. But uh, uh, I was not pretty sure that I will uh, give uh, this TM in this year because I had not prepared for this year, sir. Actually, uh, uh, um, uh, we had a batch, outgoing batch, uh, MD pediatrics batch, and this time, fortunately, we had with us uh, Dr. Sujit Singh, sir. Uh, from PJ Chandigarh, sir. PJ Chandigarh, yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I interacted with sir. Sir, give me that boost. And sir, actually, had we had a uh, topic of Kawasaki. Sir, I had a talk on that as mm -hmm. well. So, that encouraged me. So, sir, I started preparing after that only. To almost two and a half months back, sir. Okay. Uh, I, I would say that, sir, I had actually uh, done good uh, residency during my PG days. I have done... Uh, thoroughly read Nelson during those days and I was also good in clinics as well and uh, on top of that I uh, I had my guide Dr. Javed Iqbal sir who is a pediatric pulmonologist here so mm -hmm. sir had kept me uh, uh, with him in his OPD so I was uh, repeatedly exposed to the pediatric pulmonology patients so that way I was able to do this sir. So basically, you were uh, you did not specifically prepare as far as INS DM was concerned, barring the last two and a half months after that interaction with Dr. Surjit. But uh, having said that, you were really thorough yes. with pediatric pulmonology or in general in pediatrics because you were very thorough during residency with Nelson. And again, the Nelson is a base. And uh, your OPD, like you said, Dr. Uh, Javed, if I'm not wrong, Dr. Javed, right? Right, yeah, so you used to sit in pediatric pulmonology yeah. OPD with Dr. Javed and that that helped you, you know, like uh, you essentially did not learn from books or you did not learn from, you know, uh, questions or videos or anything. You actually learned it from the real patients on a daily basis when you interacted with yeah. those pediatric pulmonology patients. That was your actual preparation rather than uh, any, you know, any platform or any, uh, you know, book or anything. I, I think this this is a great message. I think especially as far as DM in pediatrics is concerned, unlike maybe for surgery or maybe even for, to a little bit for medicine where people uh, uh, just after completing their MD, they start preparing or, you know, immediately in the first attempt or in the six months they want to crack. As far as pediatrics is concerned, the general trend is people do their senior residency. And you highlight the fact that the our, our best the best way to learn is from patients rather than from uh, 
any uh, you know uh, videos or any book or something like that uh, our patients are our best uh, uh, way to learn and we learn the most from them so in the, these last two months uh, how did you like you said you in these two months you specifically prepared as far as you were not expecting a rank one obviously and congratulations again then uh, in these yes. two months what did you exactly do and how did doc tutorials help you yeah sir obviously uh, sir uh, time was the constraint otherwise i i would have uh, obviously subscribed to some plan test series but since i was uh, i was very sure that i will, I will not be able to complete any uh, test uh, uh, test module so uh, i uh, uh, i just uh, uh, stick to my nelson test book but with the recent uh, 20 22nd 22 uh, 2022 update uh, of nelson I, uh, during my days, there was 2021. So I just uh, got a review of the 2022, whatever are the new updates, I uh, uh, joined the, them up. And I was also very thorough with the GINA guidelines, uh, which come every year. I, uh, I always uh, go through them. So this year I was I had already done them. And as far as a uh, few topics like uh, tuberculosis, that is never a miss. So. Mm -hmm. I again uh, went to Nelson to some IEP uh, guidelines, recent trials of uh, what uh, what what recent has come for this uh, tuberculosis, especially some uh, new trials or shorter durations of these uh, anti-tubercular drugs. So those were the new additions. So I also uh, reviewed them. So I I would say sir main was the Nelson and obviously. Uh, online the recent like doctor tutorial helped me okay. because there are many test series on doctor tutorial and I, I was giving them and i was getting a good rank on them so that way i was getting encouraged and uh, obviously from uh, from these test series you you come to know from where the questions are asked so i focused on those parts especially so i think that way it helped me great great uh so uh, uh for any aspirants i think uh, uh one simple takeaway from my uh, from dr shah's journey is simple that uh, uh you can simply uh, uh you know be with your senior residency or junior residency be thorough with your nelson be just thorough with your nelson and towards the last three four months if you just stick to a test series and give the grand test and them like dr shahan did and uh, you will uh, get a you will get a really good rank like you will get the numero uno rank right so uh, that is it any uh, specific uh, as, far as, uh, uh, as far as interview is concerned anything that you want to talk about interview how was your interview journey or how was your uh, 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 how pe uh, one one thing that always people uh, strikes in the fear in mind of aspirants is the interview as far as aims or pgi is concerned so how was the interview and uh, can you talk about it what do they ask and what was the pattern like so actually, this was my first online interview. I had never given an interview for this, especially online. Mm. And uh, I was very nervous for that as well, sir. Uh, I got a link from Doc Tutorial for the mock interview as well. But mm. uh, I submitted that, but I could not uh, go through the mock interview. So I uh, said, just uh, uh, once I log in, sir, uh, we had a simple case based scenario, so mostly case scenario based uh, topics were asked. Sir, it was very easy. So, uh, usually in sir, pediatric pulmonology, what I have seen in the interview that they have uh, preloaded almost 10 to 15, 10 to 11 questions. And those 11 questions are mostly case based scenarios, uh, other than one or two questions that are from biostatics. Those questions will come on your screen and you have to answer them. And so, sir, the main, main topics were picked uh, like some eosinophilic disorders like granulomatosis, uh, eosinophilic granulomatosis, polyangiitis. Uh, we had some questions from biostatics. So it was uh, sir, uh, CF and uh, uh, obviously sir, PCD. Mm. Topics were usually, sir, questions were usually asked from them, sir. All right. So basically, the the normal cases that you normally see, your cystic fibrosis, prim uh, primary cellular dyskinesia, asthma, case based scenarios from those were basically asked, along with few questions on biostats. Uh, was there any questions related to journal pediatrics that they asked, or they were it yes. was not related? Any questions related to journal pediatrics? Uh, sir, in uh, in in uh, in my interview, I had only one one question from biostatics. Sir, uh, rest were all from pulmonology. 
pediatric pulmonary so it basically tells anyone who's preparing for these interviews yes. don't be worried they are simple case based scenarios uh, of the normal topics of the you know pet topics of these exams uh, which from which they will ask you along with few questions related to biostats even if you are thorough with these things uh, you shouldn't worry about interview and you will crack the interview right any final words for the aspirants that you want to say I any advice that you <laughs> any advice so to have i was uh, very nervous for the interview hmm yeah yeah so uh, sir actually i i would like to share that this uh, exam is not so tough i think uh, if you are thorough with your clinics if you have read nelson well and if you have any platform uh, online platform that that's uh, going to boost you that's going to build your structure uh, around which your vision is going to take place so all those three things combined i think if you are thorough with these you can crack it it's not a tough exam i think this is this is a very valid point you just need three things you just need a you just need a th- good hold of nelson you need a, uh, to be decent in your clinics and any re- regular test series any good test series if you do these three things together you will get definitely get a good rank i think that that's the imp- most important takeaway that dr shahan can give us to give us thank you thank you well, thanks a lot uh, dr yes. shahan yes. and uh, anyone uh, i think this is the most important takeaway that you said these three pillars always remember these three pillars uh nelson clinics and a good test series and uh, uh dr yes. shahan used doctor tutorials the user t- test of doctor tutorials to assess him got good rank that boosted his confidence and here he is with rank 1 all right thank you thank you sir thank you